So we're on uh, layer three. Uh, I guess let's keep going. Do you care to explain why I came downstairs from my Google Home playing Voodoo? Maybe your Google Home just appreciates the finer aspects of, uh, uh, of good music. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe your Google Home just really, really enjoys it. I don't know. That's, that's my theory. Voodoo just ended. Now I stand alone playing. All right. If, if Voodoo just ended, Alexa, play Mortal Kombat theme. Okay, Google, play Mortal Kombat theme. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Locked by a device. Challenge your might. <laughs> you muted me. Ah, oh, why? Let me be your house, your personal house DJ. I activated your Google Home. Raiden. Liu Kang. Johnny Cage. Scorpion. Whoa! Bloodborne's monster design is so goddamn good. It's so goddamn good. Yeah, usually that's found right outside of ROM. Playing some pop music now. A young gaping dragon, a little bit, right? The fuck was that thing? It was a vagina scorpion liz lizard alien. Have I beaten Dark Souls 3? We haven't even started Dark Souls 3. I'm thinking after Bloodborne, we're going to do Demon Souls. But uh, Bloodborne's going to take me a hot minute. I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope you guys have been enjoying the uh, FromSoft Marathon as well. Hell yeah, this marathon is great. This marathon's been been planned for a, a long time. I've been wanting to do this. Want to do it for a long, long time. There's another one of those scorpion things over there. But yeah, we're definitely gonna play Sekiro as well, for sure. Absolutely, I love Sekiro. I feel like one of my favorite parts about this marathon is people in the chat going like, oh my God, Barb is so good at these games. Oh my, oh my God. Barb, you're amazing. You might be the best FromSoft player I've ever seen. Just amazing. The, literally the best Bloodborne player I have ever seen. Incredible. Might be my favorite part. Arcane Haze. No one has said that. Like, oh my god, Barb, you're just, you're just incredible at Bloodborne. Can you please give Zeus some lessons? Like, have you seen him play? He's just hopeless. Please, Barb, will you help him? Lobos needs your help. Happy Hob is just terrible. He needs your help, Barb. Uh, I think we needed that blood too. Oh, all this ritual blood's pretty good. You incredible suck. Can I fire the cannon? <laughs> that is the slowest fucking cannonball I've ever seen. <laughs> I've seen NBA passes that were faster than that fucking cannonball, dude. The hell was that? 
first and best player you've ever seen. Oh. Uh, I hope you were an enemy and you weren't a friend. You probably weren't a friend. Oh, I don't have to worry about illusory walls. Hope the shiny lady was not a friend because she, I fucking beat her to death with my electric club. Uh, what's up here? Am I going to do cinders? I think what I'd like to do, here's what I think I'd like to do. I want to do Dark Souls 3, uh, possibly soul level one. Um, I'd like to do that. I'd like to do Dark Souls 3 cinders and do all the bosses and cinders. Maybe, maybe I can get it working. Maybe a Dark Souls 3 randomizer. We'll see. Not sure. Tomb Mold. We'll see. I really do enjoy Dark Souls 3 Soul Level 1. It's it's probably my favorite Soul Level 1 to do. Uh, did I activate a trap of some kind? You want a sequel so badly? Any crowd control Dark Souls? We'll see. We'll see how much time there is but before Elden Ring. Maybe we'll do a Dark Souls crowd control. I don't know. We'll see. Device is not operable. Wait. Oh, shit. Aha. So Demon Souls. Okay, but this is like literally worthless, I think. Oh, have I? Have, wait, have I been here? I've actually been here. Have I done Dark Souls 3 Ascended? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I've done I've done Asc Ascension? Is that what you mean? I have done Dark Souls 3 Ascension. That's the one with all the really cool magic uh, magic stuff. Yeah, I like the Tenitris. I like it. It's a good weapon. Okay, I guess let's go back in the cage. Am I going to do the gauntlets with Sekiro? Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Which was the Dark Souls 3 mod with the crab claws? That was uh, Cinders, where I became a crab man. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Cinders was very fun. These are like all elevators that take you around over here, okay? Grab people. Have you guys heard? You guys know about this? I'm not a, I'm not a, keep in mind, I'm not a science expert by any means. Stop, so stop me when I say something wrong. Basically in nature, there has been several times in nature where there's been like a massive extinction event or whatever, like several times. And every fucking single time, crabs have come out, have, have emerged. Basically, nature keeps creating crabs no matter what. Like, let's say tomorrow there was a giant earth ending thing and almost all life was wiped out. Crabs would return. Like, nature would evolve crabs again. They just like... The crabs just are just unstoppable. You cannot stop the crabs. That you did not know. This keeps happening for some reason. The question is, why does nature keep making crabs? <laughs> I think, I think it's time that we acknowledge guys that we are inferior to crabs. I think it's time. We are literally inferior to crabs. Crabs reign supreme. They do kind of have it figured out. Arthropods survive all Bits. extinction events. I came back from taking out the trash and Mortal Kombat was playing so loud on my Alexa. I had to go back on the stream to see if you said something. I wasn't sure what the hell happened. Sub. What happened? That's so weird that that happened. It's weird. I don't know how that would ever happen. Uh, Talon one, thank you for the gift sub to Zoidberg. Thank you very much. Whoa. 
All right, so we did this already unlocked. So I think we're going back to the start. We also got a lot of ritual blood. Same thing happened with you and, and Voodoo and Godsmack. Man, these Alexas are kind of glitching out, aren't they? It's weird. Okay, so I think we're just doubling back. I wonder if I could... Could I bold Hunter's Mark and just get back where I was? Or no? Alexa, play Titanic theme. Okay, Google, play Titanic theme. Alexa, max volume. Okay, Google, max volume. Open door. I feel the ship sinking. I hold you. I feel you. Right you are, Gilbert. Right you are. Once more, you open the door. <laughs> Near, far, wherever you are, I believe that the heart will go on never going on twitch again <laughs> i need some more bread mm. so i'm super lost i can dj I would not worry about DMC. Why would I get DMC? Oh, because of my singing? <laughs> I mean, it is pretty accurate. Oh, big chest. What do we got? Are we going to find... Uh, what is it in God of War? The blood mead? There we go. Uh, Chippy McChipster, thank you for the gifts and to Celine Dion official. Thing Longer, thank you very much for the 39 months. Really appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Once more, you open the door. Uh -huh. You think after all the singing I'd done, I would have, like, some idea of the lyrics? <laughs> <laughs> I think I would. Some idea of the key? What is what's key? It's the eye of the tiger, it's the cream of the crop. <laughs> I really I, I I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I know you're right. I'm not going to argue. I know you guys have Google at your fingertips. I know I'm wrong. I really thought those were the lyrics. Like, I didn't think I got that one wrong, but I really did get that one wrong. Uh, am I? Which way am I going? This way? Okay, I'm super lost. I think this is the Chalice Dungeon experience. I'm super lost. Can I open this? Karaoke stream. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh god. I 
I have, uh, I don't think I've ever fought this boss before. I think it's tough man hard to tell what it's doing hard to tell what it's doing wrecked you died yeah it's like it doesn't really have like a great wind up okay the music is great where the fuck am i <laughs> uh this way straight you never seen this game where you never seen Bloodborne? Dude, Bloodborne is an, a fucking masterpiece. It's so good. It's fucking amazing. You should totally play Bloodborne. Okay. Straight ahead. That's fine. Bloodborne is a fucking masterpiece. should dodge the other way. Dodge to the right, not the left. Oh. And so much as that's going to work, I guess. super greedy that was super greed yeah i i don't feel like i want to lock onto this boss i feel like i'm missing a lot by locking onto him i don't think i want to lock onto him there somehow you made my wife's Alex in the other room yeah i don't think i want to do that yeah i think in some case that in a lot of cases with uh, especially with bloodborne the monsters are so big that uh you don't want to target them I think this might be one of those cases. I don't want to target this boss. Do you want to use sharp weapons against beasts? I mean, you can use kind of anything against anything. All right. I think we got it. Yeah. Well, I kind of wanted my 10,000 blood echoes. to the left.
I can't believe that hit me. This thing is pretty fucking tough for my current level, I think. <laughs> enough twin blood shards to upgrade past uh what am i at plus four wow this thing is aggressive you got trouble with this guy regardless of level this guy is this guy is aggressive man all right I think you're level capped no matter what. I don't, I'm not sure how it works. I just, I wish I would have a, a better, maybe like an upgraded weapon would be, would be nicer. We're also running out of blood vials here too. Being able to take hits. Okay. Yeah. What level am I currently? I'm uh, currently level 36. I've got plus four. If I had plus five plus six it would be help for sure. Is there a penalty for dying? Well, eventually, if you uh, if you keep dying, uh, if you die, you have to pick up your blood echoes. It's kind of like you're leveling. this thing, but I feel like I have to be. I didn't, I knew it was coming. I tried to get away from it. I thought you were stunned. What the fuck was that? GG. We are, uh... We're not particularly strong right now, so that, that took a little bit longer than it probably should have. Alright. Does this look like- does this look like the fucking face of mercy to you, chat? Does this look like the face of cowardice or mercy? Incredible chin prevails again. Showing us all how a no-hit run- I think I got hit like a million times. <laughs> 
go back to the hunter's dream. Ah, oh, like one of those French Botox twins. I don't know who those are. The face of indifference, look like an, a rejected Overwatch character. Uh, let me go repair my weapon. Uh, let's go repair. Yeah, the nitrous breaks very quickly. Did I get any new gems at all? Fire attack 10%. Damn. I don't have any fire attacks, though. Okay. Like a villain from the original Batman cartoon. <laughs> well, what is it? Let's uh, go and level up. Let me... What do we got? We can only level up once. Uh, let's go take some more strong. Okay. That's where you saw me at Walmart the other day. Who? My character or me? I, I did not go to Walmart the other day. I don't, I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> Uh, all right. Why don't we wait a little bit on the next chalice here? Why don't we wait just a little bit? Uh, we're, we're making our we made a pretty good path through here. We killed a number of them. Let's go somewhere else. More of a Costco guy. Uh, I think we're going to Cathedral Ward and then up towards uh, Amelia, right? What do you get for completing the chalices? Nothing. It's just more bosses and more stuff to do there. Yeah, there's a secret boss at the very end, right? Boomers do be loving Costco as a trophy. Ah, oh, if you were going for a trophy or something, then you could do that. There you go. Uh, thank you again, Cube of Meat, for 36 months. Thank you very much. New weapons and runes. You know, I don't typically care about uh, trophies when I play games. But you know what I just realized? I have no blood vials, like, at all. I think there's some we can pick up along the way here. Yeah, I don't really care much about achievements. There we go. You missed out on the Dark Souls 2 finale? What do you mean by 100%? All bosses, all chalices, all DLC. That's what I mean by 100%. You buy blood vials whenever you have leftover souls. I think that that's pretty smart. That's a, that's a pretty viable uh, uh, strategy. Have I fought the inner bosses of Sekiro? Yes, I have. The only one I didn't do is because I didn't do the Shura ending recently. I didn't do the Shura bosses. You hate this fight. This fight can be frustrating for sure. It can be hard to see what's happening in this fight sometimes. Is this Amelia? Yes. Lots of toilet paper. What did I do to this woman? Kept singing Titanic. There's your counter hit damage right there. There's your counter hit damage. 
There goes all of my life bar. I missed time to roll. There's your counter hit. Yep. Lots of screaming. Been there. Yep. I wish you showed the name of the bosses. That's your counter hit. I don't think, uh, really the only boss in, in Dark Souls one I can think of that can really one shot you is probably Bed of Chaos. And that's because Bed of Chaos is just a miserable piece of shit, so. <laughs> Manus. I think even if you're relatively low, first of all, Manus is like super, super end game. That's like, you may as well compare uh, Orphan of Cost to Manus. Uh, second, even if your vitality is pretty low against Manus and you get caught up in the giant wombo combo, I think you'll still actually survive that. Well, yeah, Capra Demon, that's not so much getting one shot. That's getting caught by the dogs and Capra Demon. That's kind of different. Her explosion will one shot. I've definitely survived that explosion as uh, with low vitality. Definitely have. You know, you just have to wait against this boss. You just have to sit back and wait and wait for it to do something and then punish. Like you can't go in and try to mix it up. You can't do that. You, if you try to go in and mix it up, you're just gonna get slaughtered because you're gonna have a face full of hair and you're not gonna see what attack is even coming. You're just gonna get shredded. You have to wait and bait something out. You can't do that. Seems way more challenging. Uh, this seems like way more damage than it should be doing. It's because I'm mistiming rolls because I know an attack is coming and I'm eating all that counter damage is what's happening. I know the attack is coming. I roll its counter damage so I get like one shot. What's a sweet racing game soundtrack? Oh, are you talking about Revolt? Equip your axe with some fire paper. I don't know if you know this, Diflaros, but I'm the one fucking playing the game, not you. Why don't you fucking play the game and you put some file paper on you and let me fucking play the game how I want to, you fucking dipshit. I want to fucking go here and fist Amelia until she dies and so fucking be it. What the fuck was that? Did you see that hitbox? What the fucking absolute shit was that? That was bullshit. I literally 
can't see anything. All I see is hair. GG. That's not hair. Um, streamer, your stats are not in line with current meta. Oh, there's definitely going to be bosses that are not going to be ideal for the Tenitris. There's definitely going to be bosses like that. Oh, you can't use fire paper on the Tenitris. Have I fought Bloodstar Beast? Yes. We fought Bloodstarved Beast with uh, no, without the uh, blood cocktail cheese. I know. You think now to betray me? No, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. Dark Beast Parl will suck. Maybe. We are born of the blood, made men by the blood, undone. Have you beaten Bloodborne Deathless? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Fear the old blood. Do it. I must take my leave. Blood cheese is better than blood sausage. Hitless when? Uh, well, I am joining. A, I might be joining a hitless league of, of uh, Soulsborne players, guys. We shall see. I'm definitely going to do the DLC. Absolutely. We're doing everything. Need more Wayne June voice acting. Back to the pit. <laughs> All right. Uh, can you use the uh, the gold pendants that I just got? Can I use that? Gold blood gem. Okay. Set back. I don't know if that blood gem is very good. Imagine Bloodborne with 4K textures. I think Bloodborne looks fantastic. I just wish the frame rate was was 60 FPS. Score some PvP kills? Probably not. Uh, Mountain, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you, Mountain. Watching 100% in this game is really fun. Yeah, dude, we got a long way to go. I think it looks great. I think the game looks wonderful. Uh, let's see. Let's go and repair the Tenitris. I'm still don't have enough. I only need two more twin shards. Do, uh, how is this new gem I just got? Attack versus beasts up 12.6%. That's actually pretty good. And we mostly fight beasts, but, uh, I think for now we won't use it. Game's being locked to 30 FPS. Well, if it's going to be a stable 30 it's FPS, then that's fine. Key. I think Bloodborne will periodically well. dip below 30 <laughs> FPS, but I'm not... I'm not 100% sure on that. Maybe somebody in chat might know better than me. I'm pretty sure it'll dip below sometimes. Farewell. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought it did. The 60 FPS lowers the res to 720 to target that, unfortunately. The explosion is just fucked. What are you talking about? From soft games usually have physics and other gameplay elements tied to the FPS. Yeah, probably right. On PS4, it dips bad. So I think at this point we can choose to go towards uh, Hemwick. I wonder if there are more uh, things to grab here. You know what we could try to do? Let's go take a look at uh, Parl. Let's go go to. Let's try to go to Parl here. Let's see if we can take on Parl real fast. Oh, the one reborn explosion. I'd imagine it's pretty stable at thirty. Uh, I don't think PS Five affects the performance like at all. I don't think it does anything. Okay, so I think if we want to fight Parl, we have to go downstairs here. And then it's like this way. God. I think, yeah, I think it's just the load times. God damn it, dude.
Okay, well, we're just gonna die before we even get there. Wherever there actually is. This way? Ah, this is it. This is it. Okay. Okay, this fight is a pretty tough fight. Let's see if we can do it. I want to say you're a nice and beautiful person. Well, thank you. Oh my goodness. We are fucked. <laughs> we are fucked. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, that fight we should not have been doing right now. We were very weak for that fight. <laughs> oh, man. Man, I really am the cream of the crop, aren't I? Yeah, that's not an easy fight at all. Our damage is uh, not great, but we managed to kind of plow through that one. Yep. Okay. Oof. A lot of people come across that boss way too early, probably, yeah. We rise to the top, and the cream always rises. <laughs> the best Soulsborne Ekiro player there ever was. Death by 100 bumped ankles. Let's uh, repair this. 
And I still don't have any shards. Yeah, we didn't have all that much blood the bl the blood vials either, did we? Welcome home. <laughs> uh yeah, I think the nitrous doesn't do that much damage versus uh because of the because of Parl being electric as well, too. Now let's go ahead and increase vitality and strength. <laughs> let's uh let's Ah, you know what? We'll find some more blood vials. One blood vial is plenty. One blood vial is plenty. That's who needs to what kind of scrub needs to heal in this game? All right, we're gonna call it there, guys. We're at three hours, six minutes. Made some good progress in Bloodborne, guys. Alright. Timer started. Play some Bloodborne. I think I've earned a little fucking Bloodborne. I have one blood vial. Last thing we did, uh, we just killed Amelia. I think we're heading over towards the witches, I think. Uh, let's go back to... Oh, no, the last thing we did, we just killed Parl was the last thing we did. All right, let's get back over to the... Actually, hang on, let's go to the Cathedral Ward here. Let's go this way. Bloodborne PSX, I'm like, Bloodborne will run standard at 60 FPS. That's kind of funny. <laughs> you like talking about, yeah, I'm using the uh, Tenitris. It's like an electric mace. Oh, man. I like this weapon. It's fun. It's a cool weapon. Ow. Uh, Norwegian Wood, thank you for the 17 months. Thank you, Norwegian. It's like smacking enemies with a Tesla coil. Uh, it would be great to get some blood vials. I, I think I used all my blood vials fighting Parl. What's up, Fidlam? Uh, Lockhart, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, Lockhart. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, dude. You got a gift sub. Enjoy the emotes. Aye. These guys are super, super easy to parry. Like Omega Perry bait. Oh man. Where the fuck are the blood vials, man? Okay, well, <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you very much, Lockhart. I really appreciate that. Not having any blood vials is kind of rough. Uh, crazy nut. Thank you for the 40 months. Yeah, that guy did a lot of damage. Sometimes it'd be like that in Bloodborne. Yeah, sometimes it do. I got reaped. What kind of build? Uh, well, I'm not sure because I think the Tenitris scales pretty well with strength. I think it scales between strength and arcane. Tonight, just a strength and arcane. Yeah, there you go. Bits. Uh, Lockhart, thank you for the bits. Thank you very much. Take my blood echoes back, please. I think there's like a shitload of madman's knowledge over here too, right? Cool version of Battle Mage. I feel like I want to try to get the tentacle arm, but uh, I don't know where that is. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay. Hey, we got some blood vials, guys. Go. Cool. In the lecture hall. Oh, whenever we get close to that, we'll have to we'll have to point it out to me. These uh, brain sucker enemies, these enemies are rough. Those enemies are rough. Uh, I will definitely be playing the Demon Souls remake on PS5. Those brain sucker dudes, they are rough. You might start Bloodborne for the first time. Oh, Bloodborne is such a cool game. Your first playthrough, just be aware, it might be insanely frustrating for the record. Might be really, really frustrating. Oh, now, just tell me. I bid you farewell. May the good. Okay. Yeah, people are telling me about the new Kirby trailer. So I think. Oh, you know, we have the password here, right? Let's see. The password. There we go. Spirit of Dark Souls, not more frustrating than ROM hack. That's a low bar. Already dead. Madman's knowledge. That is a low bar. <laughs> Being less frustrating than a ROM hack. Bloodborne soothes the soul. It's like I said, Bloodborne and Dark Souls are, are a happy, fun time vacation for me. It's like somebody who just got out of hell. You know, you can put them in the middle of the fucking desert and it's going to feel like a nice fucking summer vacation to them. They feel like they're on the beach. Ah, oh, what a great day. This is wonderful. Demon Souls Remake is your favorite. I love Bloodborne. Had zero issues with either game. Here's my issue with the Demon Souls remake, Marvelous, is that after playing Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, and Sekiro, I feel like it's hard going backwards in the Souls games. Demon Souls, while I appreciate the, or the originality and I appreciate that it's the beginning of all these games and I think it has some cool ideas, I feel like it feels like stepping backwards, like the bosses have like three attacks, you know, like... It's pretty fucking... It's hard for me to really sink my teeth into it. That makes sense? Like, going from Sekiro to... Going from Sekiro to Demon Souls is a big leap backwards, in my opinion. It feels simple. Everything in Demon Souls is like a gimmick, and Dark Souls took all the gimmicks that work. There's definitely things I like about Demon Souls, but, uh, yeah. For someone going into Souls game, you should start with Demon Souls. I recommend starting with either Demon Souls or Dark Souls, if I would recommend it. Dark Souls 1. I think it was major in Gamer, which is more frustrating than average Romex or machine translated books. Machine translated books? What, what does that even mean? Also, college, uh, as painful as this might be to say, college was a long time ago for me, guys. It was a while ago. I haven't been in college for almost 10 years. It's been it's been almost 10 years since I got my master's degree. It's been a while. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm getting up there, guys. What I get a master's in? Uh, I have a master's in European history. Imagine yeah, I've got a master's in Mario. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Luke Newcomb, thank you for the 31 months. Thank you, Luke Newcomb. Says Zojo, thank you for the bits. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't know. I repairing the nitrous isn't too bad. I'll probably have a backup weapon too, I think. Just something you gotta do every time you come back. It's not so bad. Okay, let's, uh, I think we can fortify the Tenitris again, finally. Tenitris plus five. Uh, we don't have to repair it. 
Do I have any other... Uh, ooh, wow. So this one is blunt attack up 12.6%. I think the tinnitus would all be blunt, right? The whole thing is just blunt attack. Should we uh, put that in? 12.6. Let's see. This one's physical attack up 7.5%. And then this one is uh, physical attack up at full HP. You get some really interesting gems when you uh, when you do the uh, chalice dungeons. You get some pretty interesting ones. Let's try that one out. Uh, Dragon Girl Maddie, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry if I really I honestly like I really 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 want to be happy as happy as can be when I play Super Mario World ROM hacks. I really do. I don't want to be like, <laughs> I, tr I really try. I try not to get frustrated. I try to be super happy. It's just so hard. <laughs> it's just, you have no idea how miserable it can be. I really try. And I know because I know it's going to be like, all Bob does is complain. And all he does, I had to stop watching. I can't stand it when he's like this. Like, bro, you don't know how fucking difficult it is to sit there and eat, and eat shit for an hour and make no progress and die to nothing. And uh, you don't know. And, and I know I'm going to I know I'm going to catch it. It's just so hard. Uh, da Dan G, thank you for the 58 months. Thank you, Dan G. Like an unhappy arranged marriage. I mean, just sometimes the sometimes the joy and the rom hack just isn't there, you know. And that's I don't think there's anything else to that aside from the fact that sometimes levels don't necessarily jive with a person, you know. A lot of laughs on stream every day. Yeah, my mood's probably not affected as well because I'm not feeling... I haven't been feeling great past couple days, so... Hopefully we're at the tail end of all that. We're just a jive turkey. Those are the same lines they use when they have a breakup. I love Super Mario World ROM X, just that occasionally I'm just going to be... You know, there's just occasionally excruciating. I do love them. Yeah, it can, Dan. It can. It really can. My laugh reminds you of Mr. Belding. Oh my god. I have a lot of insight. These forests are nasty. Holy shit. Oh. You just went through this area a few minutes ago. This area is rough. Get these bullets. Oh my goodness. What happens with higher insight? So the amount of insight you have can affect the game. In fact, in the next boss fight, uh, the boss fight is actually harder if you have more insight. Insight is the eyeball. It's a number next to the eyeball. The higher the insight you have, the more things are going to change in the world for you. Um, I don't have a list of every single thing it does for you. In the next boss fight, if you have high insight, the boss fight is like higher, it's like harder. If you go in with zero insight, the boss fight's actually considerably easier. 
Zeus says good luck on the Barbivator. <laughs> you know, he talks he talks a lot of shit, but he's died there too. I've seen I've literally I've seen him die there. It's not just me. I like that's the nitrous. Can you lose in insight? So insight is like a currency and uh, you can use it to buy things. Uh, there's a shop in the uh, central area. In fact, this clothing I have right now, this is gas coins armor set. Uh, I bought this with insight uh, with my insight. I like this clothing because it has high... I bought it for the high poison resist. And I think it has high... I think it has high frenzy resist as well, but I might be wrong on that. Yeah, that's actually a strat you can do for the next boss. Uh, if you spend all of your insight and go into the fight, uh, it'll be an easier version of the fight for you. So, finally, a Waluigi game. The Crimson Chin. <laughs> Are you building Arcane? I haven't spent many levels on Arcane yet, but eventually I probably will. <laughs> Fucking Bloodborne. to buy blood vials oh. i'm i'm in comically low on blood vials now let me go buy some blood vials or just farm some i'm trying to get the cost parasite i've never had the cost parasite before never had that you don't need blood vials you're gonna get if you don't get hit well i'm definitely gonna get hit so i'm definitely gonna need blood vials <laughs> Yeah, I've never used the cost parasite. Nicki Minaj, like you said yesterday, one is plenty. Well, now we have three. We've got triple one now. Surely we'll be fine. I gotta do the DLC. We're gonna do everything. DLC, all bosses. We're even gonna do the chalice dungeons, which I've never done 100% of the chalice dungeons. Oh, uh, I think the Tenitris is okay. I think where the Tenitris really shines is against uh, Kin, the alien dudes. Um, I think Kin are especially weak to electricity, I think. That's the plan. Yeah, we did start the chalice dungeons. I'm trying to do the chalice dungeons when I'm like the appropriate level so that they're more interesting. I'm trying to do them when I'm at the correct level. Hmm? Am I saving up insight? Not particularly, no. Realizing you don't remember a lot of this game, you need to play it again. The fact that Child Syndrome like Maze is a bit annoying. They do get a little repetitive and they can be pretty confusing. It's easy to get lost in them. All right, so let's go ahead. I don't think I can fortify it, can I? We're one blood charge, uh, blood charge short. One short. Okay, so this is the insight shop right here. I oh, don't know. No, this is the insight shop. <laughs> And so this shop changes over time. So right now I can buy uh, blood cocktails. I can buy blood shards. I can buy uh, some chalice dungeon stuff. 
And it's gonna, as time goes on, there's gonna be more and more stuff here as we go. Welcome home, good. What is it? Very well, let me. Oh, uh, we'll get another strength here. And let's spend the rest of my blood, uh, the rest of my shit on blood vials here because we need it badly. <laughs> They're really all we can buy? Fuck. I want to buy some more. Let's use these. Is insight a finite resource? Ah, you know, I'm, I'm not sure on that. There's got to be a way to get... There's a lot of insight in the game. Eventually, you might run out of insight. I think eventually you might. Uh, all right. Come on. But, like, there's a lot of insight in the game. You can pick up Madman's knowledge. Uh, every time you go into a boss, you get insight. But there's a lot of it. Yeah, I think eventually you do. You might run out. At that point, you have to go to New Game Plus, And uh, then you can get more. I think you'd be really hard pressed to do that though. Like that would be really difficult to do that. Where does this game go in the line of Souls games? Well, Bloodborne came out after Dark Souls 2, but uh, before Dark Souls 3. But it, it, it has nothing to do with Dark Souls, aside from the people who made it. Uh, Quenzal, thank you very much for the three months. Does Bloodborne have a story? Yeah, I'd say Bloodborne has a little bit more coherent of a story than like Dark Souls 1 or, or 2 or 3. But, uh, I wouldn't say it's like particularly good at telling that story. Uh, Pat Lanicus, thank you for the 10 months. Thank you, Pat Lanicus. Uh, I mean, Sekiro is probably the best at telling its story, but even still, it's not particularly good at telling the story. So, what's the point of this game? Why can I target you? I definitely can't target you for some reason. Okay. Big gulps, huh? Kill old god, baby. Find pale blood, transcend the hunt. Well, your character in this game was like a dude who came to this place to get healed, right? And that's why they were giving you blood at the start. And that's what involves you in the events of the game, right? Hmm? What healing does he need? Thanks for getting boosted. Hope you feel better soon. Thanks, man. Yeah. Um, I felt like it made sense to get the booster, both my wife and I felt that way. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I mean, these games have as much lore and they're, they're as deep as you want them to be. So... Uh, I think my wife and I both kind of had similar, uh, similar side effects. Uh, we were both... Well, yesterday, all we wanted to do was sleep. So. Joy! Joy! Uh, Talent, thank you for eight months. Thank you, Talent.
go open the gate. Damage is uh pretty good. Pretty good damage. Ow. Yeah. Subscription. They're gonna fight the mini boss NPC over here. Mini boss NPC, I'm not sure who you're talking about. Uh Corey Cube, thank you for the 15 months. Uh Teutonius, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Teutonius, for 44 months. Nice guys. Advertise chain reminds me of Eustace from Courage College of the Dog. I think somebody else said that too. Is this going to go on YouTube? Yeah, we'll see. Uh, thank you, Deutonius. Thanks, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed the stream today. They all look the same. Get out of here. We're happy to see you being happier. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes it's hard. Happy Barb is best part. So you actually got through Dark Souls 2 and it's 69 DLCs. Uh, yeah, I actually thought that the Dark Souls 2 DLC is like, yeah, the, the areas are whatever, but, uh, Sir Alon was a great fight, and, uh, Ivory King is a cool fight, Blue Smelter's a cool fight. Right. I think we could actually upgrade our weapon once more, but let's just go into the fight. Fume Knight? Ah, uh, yeah, Fume Knight's also really cool. boss i'll tell you what when i was on when i was doing my deathless attempts to this game this boss actually did scare me because you can actually super fucking get ganked in this fight here's how it goes you get caught by the attack where it immobilizes you and you can't move and then those fuckers run up to you and, sl and just rip you to shreds it's really that's actually really scary right you can go into this fight with no insight right but yeah tonight was just doing pretty good Okay, so this is actually a good find. That means we can actually equip a rune. Yeah, to fucking shreds. Oh, you can definitely die. This is actually... This can go... Pinwheel, it's really hard for Pinwheel to go wrong. 
only pinwheel the only way pinwheel can go wrong is if you go there too low level then it can be really hard um this fight uh this fight can go wrong no matter what you can just get caught doesn't matter what level you are uh let's go pop my souls i think we can uh we can also upgrade our weapon once more when you get shredded in bloodborne you say thanks miyazaki <laughs> You know, I, I played with the Tenitris once before a long time ago. I like the Tenitris. It's a fun weapon. We're at plus six with Tenitris now. Um, oh, we can actually equip another gem. That's nice. Okay. I think we can also, now that we got that, now we can equip runes because we have this. Higher blood vial maximum, acquire more blood echoes. Let's go ahead and grab that. Okay. More blood echoes is always good. Is it worth using if you don't level arcane at all? I think so, yeah. I think so. Why not? Welcome home. What is it? Very well. Let me. Yeah, we're playing some Bloodborne. Uh, I would like some more endurance and strength and. Let's uh let's spend the remainder. I'm a little bit low on blood vials for sure. Let's spend the remainder and buy some more blood vials. Alright. I wonder, should I go back to the chalices, you think? Uh we're on layer three heart. Maybe I should go back to the chalices. Every time you play, I wanna play it. It's gonna really spike when you get those double tenitrus. Oh yeah, there's the uh the mini tenitrus, right? We're on layer three heart, sure. So when does this chalice dungeon end? When does this end? Oh, I'm done with this chalice? How do you know if you're done with it? I have to make the next one. Has that changed? Oh, I don't know, Zach. I think it's more or less the same. I don't know if I'm ever going to be a big fan of the chalices in this game, but uh, I've never done them before. I think one of the things that I really hate about the chalices my first time is that I basically beat the entire game. And then I went into the chalices. And when you do that... Okay, when you do that, it makes it, like, way too easy. So what do I want to do here? I actually have no idea. He uses too many bullets. You want to do central? So I need more blood. I don't have enough blood echoes to do this, though, right? Subscription. I need more blood echoes. I need 1,800. Uh, Sayren, thank you for the reset. Thank you very much. Okay, I don't have any. I have to go get some blood echoes, I guess. Actually, could I, uh, sell something? Probably could, right? Uh, I kind of want to keep my hunter axe. I'll sell the shield. Sell some of this shit, I guess. But I need like 2k. I don't want to sell my top hat. I want my top hat. I guess I could sell some of these uh, stones, right? I don't think I need multiple of these. All right, I think that's what I needed. So now I want to conduct the chalice ritual central, right? Central, this is the one I want to do. Throwing knives. Never finished them. One of your last review was to platinum. Okay, so this is what I... Chat's saying this is what I want to do. Conduct ritual. Ritual is finished and a chalice will spawn the altar. We now explore the dungeon. Chamber of the seal. Sure. Let's go. Definitely listen to chat. Yeah, that's never gone wrong for me before, right? Uh, thank you so much, Zayron. I have freeloaded for so long and have watched so much of you. Here's my sub. You more than deserve Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the sub. You get the root chalice in layer two and the next chalice in layer three. Yeah, I, I'm trying to space out the, the chalice dungeon so that I'm not overpowered for them because that makes them really, really, that makes them super dull. I may already be overpowered for this, honestly. 
This is where we're going. How long till the Nuggy stream? No Nuggies today, guys. You're going to have to get your own Nuggies. Mustard chicken. I don't make uh I don't make mustard chicken too often. I usually I probably make it like once every two or three months, something like that. I did make uh jambalaya this past Friday. I made some jambalaya. Shit was fucking so good. Oh my god, that shit was good. Only Burger King nuggies? Ugh. Seafood or no seafood? Oh, jambalaya? Well, I would use shrimp, but my wife does not like shrimp. She is very anti-shrimp. Hates it. Ow. Uh, Ira Mister, thank you for the getting a gift set from somebody else. Thank you very much. Sea bugs. Well, she says it's the uh, the texture of the shrimp that bothers her. I love shrimp. Love shrimp. I've tried to convince her. I've tried. Believe me. Yeah, I love shrimp. Scallops are your favorite? Ow. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of damage from that guy. <laughs> Why did that guy do so much damage? like these enemies why do i like these enemies because they are thicker than a bowl of oatmeal oh my god <laughs> they are so fucking thick oh my lord that ass Forget your video game waifus. Give me these guys. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. What is the thing where it's like you you want to put some flower on it and slap it and ride the wave or something? What? How does that, how does that joke go? I can't remember. <laughs> it's some fucking stupid joke like that. Uh, T follower. Holy shit. Slap the thigh and ride the wave. <laughs> Holy shit, T follower, thank you so much for 50 gift subs. Uh, thank you very, very much. Holy shit, man. I really appreciate that. I think T follower likes them thick as well. Thank you very, very much. Did I uh, go this way? He's popping off in everyone's stream. Well, now I don't feel special. Is that a pregnant Miyazaki emote? Thick, yeah, the T stands for thick. Of course. Of course it's a pregnant Miyazaki. Why wouldn't there be? Pregazaki. Oh shit.
yeah 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 holy crap t follower thank you so much thank you for the 50 gift subs t follower holy shit man Easy. Uh, T follower, thank you for 50 gift subs. Holy crap. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, dude. Where did I go? Thank you for the 19 months. Hope you feel better soon. Uh, thanks, man. I'm already feeling better. Already feeling better. Thank you very, very much. Okay. That's a lot of gift subs. That is a lot of gift subs. Honestly, I should I should have played that much much better, but that's all right. That's a ton of hot dogs. The clothes get so shiny from all the blood. Another fifty gift subs, and I'll be feeling a lot better. <laughs> oh, I wish they expand on the concept of chalice dungeons in the Elden Ring. I think the chalice dungeons are a cool idea for sure. Imagine a ro like a true roguelite uh, Souls game. Could you imagine? Whoa! These fucking guys explode, huh? Okay. Watch out for that. Rogueborn. I think there's a, a mod of Dark Souls 1 that kind of turns it into a roguelite. I don't, I don't know how good it is, but... I can't remember something about that. Imagine a Zelda Souls-like. Whoa. The Bloodborne D-Make looks sick. I don't want to... Fucking goddammit. Go back to Dark Souls, you bastard. Am I fucking dead? This fucking Dark Souls piece of shit just got me out of nowhere? Go back to fucking Dark Souls, asshole. Literally Dark Souls. I'll watch the ceilings, I guess. Get poopy done. Can't wait for more dogs in Elden Ring. How bad do you think the dogs are? are all right. Two questions. Two questions, chat. How bad do you think the... the how bad do you think the dogs in Elden Ring are going to be? Two. How bad do you think the poison swamp is going to be in Elden Ring? <laughs> you know there's gonna be dogs you know there's gonna be a poison swamp you think they're gonna be awful on both 9 out of 10 for badness 10 out of 10 for the swamp what about the poison dogs Dogs with bees in their mouth. I heard a lot of fucking noise.
Uh, ladder. Okay. Hopefully, I can Goomba stomp the dogs. Everything is wearing out. We're at about a hundred B-sized dogs, or one dog-sized B. A hundred B-sized dogs, or one dog-sized B. Hmm. I think I. I think I could take a dog-sized B. I think I could take him. I'm gonna take one. Fucking shit in here! God, it's like a fucking clown car in there. What that play like good lord? <laughs> it's all fucking all pile in the door here. What the hell was that? Four dogs, seven zombies, big fucking thick boy. Jeez, man. Whenever I die in the chalice dungeons, I it pisses me off a lot. And the, here's the reason why. I have no idea how to get back to where I was, and all of this shit looks the same. So dying in the chalices hurts extra bad. I don't think I went this way. I think I went that way. I don't like dying in the chalice dungeons. Go left in the grayish brown area. That's where the game like knows when you're going to attack. Finally, when you attack, that's when they attack. The game knows. Okay, so I guess we went here or we there's nowhere to go here. This weapon's strong. Uh, Tenitris. Tenitris is a good weapon, for sure. Probably not as good as the saw cleaver, but I like it. I think if you're going to use the transformation attacks more often... Um, see, I, I wasn't here. I definitely never came here. <laughs> I think the saw cleaver is probably better if you're going to use the transformation attacks more often and, like transform mode and stuff. the floor change uh, i don't think the chalice does the chalice change when you die i don't think it does right because you can still go pick up your blood echoes and stuff The boom hammer is I tried the boom hammer. I tried using it. It must be one of the worst weapons in the game. It must be. I think it's awful. Maybe it's really fun to use. I don't know. You love Maria's sword. I don't think I've ever actually used Maria's sword. I dude, I wanted to like the boom hammer too. I just can't. Mad cuz bad. Yeah, maybe. Pizza cutter's fine. Just never found any pizza in this game. So then what was the point of all the other directions I went, right? I, I kind of had a lot of blood vials or blood, uh, blood echoes. I kind of wanted to use those. I don't remember what I used in my first playthrough. I think I might have used Ludwig's, but I'm, I'm not sure. So this is... 
This is where we go. This is how to go forward. There's probably going to be a boss this way. But what about the other direction? What about my blood echoes and shit? I wanted to get those back if I could. Where the hell was I? <laughs> How the fuck was I going? Was Pizza the Umbilical Cord cut into three? I really don't remember which way I went. We just came from this direction. Right, there was a big bridge and... I was looking for the lever and that's when I died. As I climbed up. This is where we just came from. Oh, no, this is not. What the fuck? Is that a blood-starved beast? What? What are you? Where the hell did this thing come from? Okay, where the hell did that thing come from? It came out of nowhere. Did you see a red thread anywhere? Yeah, it was one of the DLC tick enemy things. Man, I really don't know where... Did I, what direction did I go in? I, I kind of wanted to get back my 13,000. I don't know where it is, though. Is it over here, maybe? This way? Oh, this was it, right? Wasn't it this way? I remember these. It must have been this way somewhere. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Oh, I would love a remaster of this game. Absolutely. Oh my god, you do a lot of damage. This is where the poopy fell on my head. I mean, I think it just needs 60 FPS, you know? I feel, like I'd, I feel like I'd be pretty happy with just that. You've never died over and over to the scorpions? Yeah, we believe you. If we're honest here, like... Correct me if I'm wrong, right? God of War 4 on PlayStation... God of War 4 on PlayStation 4, right? That did not have consistent 60 FPS, correct? It was, um... It was something... And then got, then they updated it to God, on God of War 4 on PlayStation 5, which you can upgrade for free. That now has consistent, consistent 60 FPS, correct? So they get like it was a free update to the game and you can already play it if you owned it on the other one you can play it over there and correct me if i'm wrong ghost of tsushima also did that right ghost of tsushima did that as well free 60 fps consistent on uh ps5 so the fact that and and these are newer games than bloodborne so the fact that they're kind of playing like oh no no yeah we're no nah, no updates on bloodborne we're not going to do anything with it when it's clearly a very high demand thing. I feel like that's kind of shitty. And I feel like that's kind of a bad look, you know? I understand that they like eventually probably want to sell us a remaster or something like that. But especially considering the fact that modders of Bloodborne have also done it for free. Like Bloodborne modders have already done 60 FPS. I'm going to say a little bit of a bad look. I feel like it would have been really hype if they had just said like, yeah, Bloodborne 60 FPS PS5. Yeah, it's kind of, it's, a, it's a slightly Nintendo move by them. This is the room of pain, apparently. Look at this room. <laughs> Look at that room, dude. Hang on, hang on.
Still more, by the way. Big boy. Uh, Ghost is actually 60 FPS in the high fidelity mode and PS5 performance mode is up to 144 FPS. I, this is, I, and you, you can say no, Barb, you're wrong. I don't believe you bullshit. I feel like they could, with minimal, with not that much effort, make Bloodborne 60 FPS. With, I'm sure it would take more work. It would take some work. It would be minimal work for them to do that on PS5. And they're just choosing not to because they're holding back and they want they want to do like a sequel or remaster and they want to charge full price. Hinter Tomb Chalice. Maybe that's wrong. I don't know. Whenever a fan base really, really likes something... You know that meme of the guy behind the tree and he's wearing like a yellow suit and he's like he's like licking his lips and doing that whenever a fan base really really likes something like bloodborne you know the, you know i feel like sony and the devs are looking at it from behind the tree like looking at the devs like that like oh dude we can we can milk the shit out of this just you wait they're looking at us and they're licking their lips Bloodborne cart. Can we turn that into a new emote? <laughs> Dude, where the fuck am I? So we got a new chalice. Um, I think this is back towards the start. I was told to look for secret exits and shit here. How does one acquire a PS5? Uh, if you had, if you had my wife, you could get a PS5, but uh, sadly she is taken. Sorry for you. Wife both got me the Xbox Series S and the PS5. Got me both of them. Is she available to rent? She's a scalper, yeah. Uh, all right, so I think we're now heading backwards. 800 euros, the cheapest PS5. What's it like to be a trophy husband? What exactly is implied by trophy husband, trophy wife? What exactly is the implication behind that? She has uncles in Sony. Hot plus jobless. Well, streaming may not be a real job, but uh, it's more of a job than what she has. <laughs> All right, let's go spend my shit. She did flub on the NT. It's true. Trophy couple. I'm. I'm actually. I am a considerably happier person that she's not working now. Much happier that she's not working. Uh, we still need, we need blood chunks. Let's repair. I wonder if I got a better gem or anything. Oh, man. Physical attack up 10.5. Add physical attack 5.4. Damn, dude. Man, I'll tell you, the gems you get in the chalice dungeons are crazy. You get some crazy, crazy gems. Um. All right, I think we're okay. Let's go level up. Yeah, I think if you're not doing the chalice dungeons, you're making the game considerably Welcome harder on yourself. Very well. Hmm? Let me. The best gems in the game are the chalice. And yeah, I think you're making the game harder for A yourself. Singular strike. This is the first. This is the most I've done the chalice dungeons, and these gems are kind of crazy good. 
It's a Kelly. Thank you for the 15 months. Thank you. It's a Kelly. Holy shit. T follower again. Holy shit. Also, John Feathers. Hang on. I missed your sub. I'm sorry. John Feathers. Thank you so much for the 28 months. I'm sorry. John Feathers. I hope you're still here. Thank you so much, John Feathers. I think I missed your sub earlier. T follower. Thank you for the 50 gift subs again. Thank you so much. Holy shit, man. Uh, wrong way. Thank you very much. So where is the fucking door I open? Somewhere this way, I think. Thank you very much, T follower. Thank you so much for the 50 gift subs again. Ah, I think this is where we're going. Yeah, this is it. All right. Okay. Keeper of the old lords. Oh shit. He's a fiery, he's a fiery lady. No fair, how do you get pyromancy in this game? Oh, holy shit. Oh, I, I was expecting damage. I wasn't expecting that amount of damage. Holy shit balls. Uh, thank you, T follower. Wow. Okay. Watch out for that. I was like, ah, oh, she seems not so bad. <laughs> and then I got hit once. Alrighty. Uh, what's up? This is the central chalice dungeon, right? So not only is she dodgy, extremely dodgy, she pretty much one shots you. Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Not only is she dodgy, she pretty much one shots you. Absolutely, I'm sure, KP Vader. I had her on the ropes. I guess she doesn't have like a ton of HP. Midori, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Apparently there are illusory walls in the Chalice Dungeons. That's kind of lame. All right. A little lame. Uh, Midori, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. The old one, too. Yeah, if you, well, the thing is, if you get hit by the first one, you're guaranteed to get hit by the second one, so that's kind of... That's okay, though. I love a woman that can kick my ass. King of Prussia, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime. Thank you very much.
For physical attack, that's fine. It's the fire that does a shitload of damage. I think we're gonna have to get uh we're gonna have to get familiar with that attack because uh that seems to be the one that's uh, gonna happen uh thank you king of pressure really appreciate the brand new twitch prime yeah that's the attack a better version of each of the weapons in the dungeon is it really well when I, the, so the last time i did the chalice dungeons i i had basically finished the entire game i came in here with a maximum leveled up whirly gig and i just chainsawed everything in 15 seconds so i got bored with it like, nothing could fucking... I was slaughtering everything in 10 seconds. This is much more difficult. I really don't like the stun locks on this thing. If you get hit like once, that's just like it. I don't like the stun locks on this thing at all. Frustrating. How tight are the timings on gun parries? It depends on the enemy. It's not, it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy. Do not have fire defense armor. I feel as though I don't, uh, let me like, let me take a look at my clothing here. Let's see. I think actually the gas coin stuff is probably going to be as good as I can get for fire defense. Yeah, I think it's more fun to do these early game. Much more fun to do these early game. I don't want to trash these and have them be easy. I want them to be difficult. Even if it's bullshit. there. Bonk. Okay. That's kind of easy. If you get her in a corner and against the wall, there's not much she can really do. He gets kind of trapped there. Okay. Yeah, if you get her against the wall, there's not really much she can do. Uh, I don't have... A th I guess we could probably repair the tinnitus. Yeah, she's not so good about the whole dodging thing. Okay. You can stun lock her with your gun. Uh, getting getting caught by that uh, that fire attack is uh, that does a lot of damage, dude. <laughs> uh, let's see. Even if these fights maybe aren't like the best fights in the game, I think they're really cool. So what is my current gem? So this current gem is blunt attack 12.6%. I guess I want to keep with that. All my attacks are blunt, right? So I guess we want to keep with that. Can I fortify? Nope, we don't have any chunks. Go ahead and repair. Okay. Here's a glass cannon. Augur of a brightest sensor following. Or sensor flying. <laughs> Chalices were your favorite, your first time playing. Let's uh, buy more blood vials while we can. And I guess this is where we are. We're still, so we're not, how do you know when you're done with the chalice anyway? How, how, are you, how do you know you're done? Crystal Sage is the other candidate for glass cannon. I feel like Crystal Sage in some ways is kind of like it's almost like a redo for uh, Pinwheel, 
especially with the cloning like he makes clones of his of himself and you can dispel the clones with one hit heart chamber what difficulty am i playing this on Crystal Sage is too slow. I have seen people get fucking annihilated by Crystal Sage. I've never seen anybody get annihilated by by Pinwheel. It's a bit like pinwheel. It's like a harder version of pinwheel. Pinwheel and not annihilated me. Pinwheel annihilated me. Uh, Retro dude, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, Retro dude. What is this bullshit? What is this fucking Dark Souls bullshit? Ow! Fuck. I'm guessing there's something over there. It's probably a pit that you die in. Uh, Hoagie, thank you for the nine months. Thank you, Hoagie. What's up, dude? How did he know? Oh. When he's low on HP, the magic spam gets fucked up. Are you talking about Mikolash? Sage's wrist is... What the hell is Sage's wrist? <laughs> no idea. Uh, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that hit retro dude. Thank you, Hoagie. Tomb Mold. These are all chalice. Oh, these are all chalice materials. So I, I probably need all this shit then, don't I? For creating the next chalice dungeon or whatever. It's a pit. It's a pit. It's definitely a pit. Demon Souls had boulders, or I I only remember the one boulder at the start, right? Were there were there more than one boulder in Demon Souls? I only remember the one. All right, be long enough for it to be the first in the series. I guess so. That's true. This way. Blood vials, sure. 
Boulders you unleash with some wood. That's right. That's right. You unleash the boulders with the wooden planks. Or miners chucking boulders. I don't remember children throwing boulders at you in Demon Souls. lost this fucking guy in front of the mines right right the only boulder i need is a resident evil 4 one right yeah that's right it's been a while i don't remember demon souls all that well This is the way forward. Plenty of ritual blood. Let's go up first. You find 100% of ghosts, time to go get shit on by demon souls. Some of the boss fights in Ghost of Tsushima were really fun. Once you get uh, some of the abilities, though, they become, like, laughable. Like, once you start getting the, uh, the one lightning strike and the other abilities, they start to become, like, laughably easy. But uh, the boss... I, I feel like uh, Ghost of Tsushima could have used a few more difficult boss fights. Like, really, really tough ones. Yeah, the lightning strike ability. Yeah, is, is that the one? That one was very strong. Ow. Ow. Did you play Ghost of Tsushima in this marathon? Uh, Ghost of Tsushima has nothing to do with the Souls games. Not even close. Besides, I played through it twice, and I played it, like, relatively recently. So, no. Need more attack variability? I could maybe see that. Ow. Okay. Are Barb farming Echoes or something else? No, I'm trying to get to the bosses. I'm not farming anything. I'm trying to get to the bosses and do the chalices. I'm trying to do the chalices when there's still like a challenge. If I wait to do the chal- If I wait to do the chalices, these are going to be a joke. At least now they're- They're kind of challenging now as- as they are. Lethal mode is fun. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I didn't really... I didn't feel like lethal mode in Ghost of Tsushima made the game, like, significantly more difficult. It felt more or less like the same as hard mode to me. Okay, so I think we're doubling back. And... Uh, obviously, we're going down. The hardest shallows is the harder than most of the main game. Pungent blood cocktails. I've got plenty of those. Get the mythic tails moving the armor. You can even annihilate lethal mode. I mean, at the end of lethal mode, when I was playing, I was fucking slaughtering everything too. I was annoyed that they uh, added. So they added lethal mode to Ghost of Tsushima right after I beat the game for the first time. So that meant like. That meant like, oh, are you going to play on lethal mode? It's like, I just beat the game on hard mode. Now, now they add lethal mode. <laughs> that was annoying. Uh, wasn't the release timeline for Soulsborne Marathon? Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, Neo, Sekiro, then Neo 2. 
Neo has nothing to do with like from software. That's like a completely different team. All right, what's the boss in here? Humerian descendants. Oh. oh, he's kicking my ass. God, get away from me with this guy. Holy shit, what an asshole. Are we, uh, so there's nowhere to go from here. Are we done with this chalice? Oh, think fast. <laughs> I think we're done on this chalice, right? That's the end, yeah. Oh. oh. Are you doing the magical uh, hours of midnight Elden Ring when no one does anything? Yes, Zach, absolutely. I will be doing midnight Elden Ring 100%. Very excited about that. Midnight Sekiro was one of my all-time favorite streams I've ever done. I was playing Sekiro at midnight. Welcome home. What is it? What's up, Real Cash? Very well. Let me. Yeah, that was great. Get some more vitality. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what Elden Ring is going to be like. Maybe maybe it'll be a kind of game where it's like a one and done and then don't play it again for a long time. Maybe I'll want to like immediately go into New Game Plus. I don't know. I'm just going to wait and see, I guess. See how Elden Ring... I, I, maybe, I hope I like the game. Maybe I won't even like it. I don't know. Hopefully. Ah, uh, holy shit, man. Ah, uh, whoa. Arcane scaling. Wow. Uh, T follower. Thank you for 50 more gift subs. Holy shit, man. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you, T follower. Uh, if you got a gift sub, welcome. T follower. Fucking A, man. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate it. The guy's nuts. Salary came in. Thank you so much, dude. I really, really appreciate that. I'm going to call the bank. He got his bonus. Hey, well, you know, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. 
Okay, so my current gem is plus 12.6% blunt, right? There's another gem I just got. Where's the other gem I just got? So this other gem... I just got is crazy too. So this one is 12.6% blunt attack, right? This one is, uh, where is it? Arcane scaling, physical attack 6.4%, physical up at full HP and physical attack up, and it boosts rally potential, right? Is that what this one? Should I switch to this one, do we think? It would increase my bolt attack? I don't know. Up easy, or should I just stick with my current blunt attack? I don't know which one's better. Blunt damage is way down. Yeah, but it increases everything. I guess I'll stick with what I currently have or something. Blunt is better for now. All right, so I think we completed the second chalice. I think, uh, I think both the first chalice, this one's done. And I think this one's done. Um, so I don't know... I guess I guess we'll wait a little while before doing a next another chalice dungeon. I guess we'll wait a minute. Uh, let's go top off on blood vials. Do what feels right in my heart. Buy some more blood vials here. And I guess we're gonna head towards uh, Shadows of Yarnum. And that's uh, Forbidden Woods, I believe. Okay. I don't know. I probably need more blood echoes for sure. Guess we'll see. Do what feels right in your heart. What's up, Nine Settler? How are you doing? Am I going to play Dark Souls Nightfall when it comes out January 19th? It is not coming out on January 19th. That is when the demo for Nightfall comes out. I will play Dark Souls Nightfall when it is officially out. I will not be playing this demo. It also depends on what else is going on. So. I feel like you're the social media account for Nightfall. How often you correct people? It feels that way. Are the different subscriber badges depending on how long you've been subscribed? Yes, that is true. What's up, Soul Raider? Will there be a new one for five years? Uh, I need to take a look at my sub badges for sure. I think I need to update them a little bit. There's a couple of, uh, I think the newer ranks people need, people need new sub badges. It's just in, uh, it's been put on the back burner for a while. I'll get to it when I can. So I think over this way, we need to go this way because this is how you access the DLC. Is this where you get the invitation or something? I've been busy with hot dog emotes. You know, no matter... Anybody ever feel like no matter how hard you work or how much you do, you're always... Something is always slipping. <laughs> like, no matter what. Is that, is that... Or is that just me? Sometimes it feels that way. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 I, I, I didn't, you're fine, Athena, I didn't think you thought that. Please 
Please stop, worms. <laughs> What's my favorite area in Bloodborne? I'll tell you this. You know what one of my... I don't necessarily like the area because it's kind of a fucking pain in the balls. But you know what area I kind of love? It's the top of the cathedral kind of area. Um, so I have to climb up this ladder, right? Or is it this? It's the top of the cathedral area where there's like the chandelier and it's super dark and there's werewolves everywhere. Uh, upper cathedral ward, that's it. I love that place because it's fucking scary. It's like a scare, it's like a horror game. It's so cool. Love that area. Is there something else over here? It's got great music. The lighting is great. I love it. That area is very cool. Oh, uh, I think uh, I, I'm pretty sure these are the longest ladders in the entire Soulsborne series. I'm pretty sure these are the longest ladders in the Soulsborne series, guys. You know what that means. Fine. In my time, there'll be no one Fine. Oh, there actually is like an item over here. Wait, wasn't there an item? Or was it like a... Oh. I guess it's not an item. Am I going to fall off this time? Someday you go through the rain and someday you feel on a tree frog. It's a dream that try to survive for the day with back up. Why is this ladder so long? In my time, Content. Be no one else <laughs> it's the way what song is this? I think, I'm not sure. I think the name of the song is Snake Eater. I think. this later pretty wild guess all right oh. <laughs> uh dr curian thank you for the 17 months thank you dr curian They don't stop. <laughs> Why is it so long? <laughs> Yo. 
Yosefka's clinic. Do we want to... So, we need the umbilical cord, right? Obviously. Do we want to beat the shit out of the lady on the, on the thing? Or do we want to wait on that or something? We want to wait. Oh, we got... So, we got the cane her summons. Okay. Yosefka's blood vial. We want to wait. Okay. Highest ladder you climbed is 60 feet, and it's pretty rocky when you get to the middle of the climb. I don't remember if there's anything else worth grabbing here. What do we got? <laughs> the story is get blood. Communion, okay. That might be a better version of the thing that gets you more blood echoes. Like if you want the top tier communion uh, where you get the most blood echoes, you have to do the brain thing. So I don't want to, I don't want to kill her. I want to wait. I don't want to kill her. I want to wait. All right. Is your guy going to kill Roger Rabbit? So we want to leave her alive because later she's going to have an item that we need. We don't necessarily need it from her, but uh, we're going to wait to kill her. She's going to be Gregnant. Do you get it anyway? That I'm not sure on. I'm not sure. You might. I guess I could have just gone up earlier. Am I pregante? Hey, yo, you get pregat? Caners is your favorite part. My girlfriend ain't got pregant. Am I pregnant? <laughs> Rip, yeah, yeah. Aren't Yahoo answers are uh, gone, aren't they? Totally gone. Go ahead and pop all these. Welcome. Did we start home. over? Start what over? But the whole game? No. Uh, the, if you take that shortcut all the way back there, it loops you all the way back around to, um, to the beginning area. And, uh, that's how you get the Kanehurst summons, which allows you to access the DLC of Kanehurst. Wait, is Kanehurst DLC or is it not? It's not DLC. It's part of the main game, isn't it? Uh, anyway, it lets you access, uh, Kanehurst. And, um... Okay, so now there's more stuff being sold here. Bone ash mass. We can buy this bone ash stuff for, with insight. Yeah, sure, why not? Sure, let's buy all this bone ash stuff. Looks cool. You get an item after Amelia lets you access DLC. Kanehurst is, uh, okay, so Kanehurst is main game. Okay, okay. But yeah, so to, if you go the way I went, then you get to access uh, Kanehurst. And uh, Kanehurst has a really, really cool boss in it. Really cool boss. Dust Seal Bones. We just got some uh, new... Let's see. Bone Ash Armor. Looks like it has higher physical defense. Holy shit. <laughs> Looking pretty fucking good. Uh, CJ Swede Guy. Thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. Thank you, CJ Swede Guy. Really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much, dude. Spitting image. Is it Dick Dastardly? <laughs> I 
That's one dapper Robotnik. Uh, CJ Sweet Guy, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that, dude. The run back to Logarius. I spent more time on Logarius than on Koss. Like the kidnapper and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Uh, thank you so much, uh, CJ Sweet Guy. I really, really appreciate that, dude. All right, I think uh, it's probably a good time for us to stop for the day. Thank you.